Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of Something Else Saturday. Today, it's a retro Something Else Saturday. It's Golden Axe 3. For those who don't know, this was a huge game from my childhood. I absolutely loved it. Like, I would play it, like, nonstop. And I have not played it in a while. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm playing as the Swordsman, and now that I've been released from the evil curse... My mission is to defeat the Prince of Darkness and return with a golden axe. And basically, it's just a good old Genesis Brawler. And that's about it. Tough as nails, limited lives and credits. But also surprisingly advanced. Like, there's... Wait. Hang on. There's a move. Yeah. It's like a full-on Street Fighter full circle forward attack and jump at the same time. And yeah, so I thought I'd just play this for Saturday and probably Sunday as well. Because you can beat the whole game in about an hour. Solid two-parter. These little guys give you magic and ouch. Your magic is great. All magic in this game is basically just a screen clear. And you want to, you have your little meter up in the top left there. You want to save it until you get, until you get all six and then it's way more powerful, essentially. Other than that, there's not much else to say. I know like Golden Axe 1 and 2 are usually the more like popular picks, but 3 was like the most refined. I don't know. This was like, it's just... One and two kind of suck. Three just feels really good to play. It might have not released in North America. I'm honestly not sure. To admit some crimes, I played this with my dad on an emulator on his old PC way back in the early times of like 2005 or whatever. <laughs> See you later. And also, I could never beat this game. Like, I think I beat it once when I would play it as a kid, and it was like a momentous kill. Oh, dear, that's a not a wasted life. Never mind. Get out of here, man. It's like kind of combos you can do. I'm sure there's like Golden Axe speedrunners out there who are crazy good at this game. Oh no! <laughs> and there's that charge attack as you can see. And you can also, I'm sure as you saw, one of the guys riding that slug creature. Those are things as well. There's really not much to talk about. Much like Tetris, this is just a just a classic button mash and brawler. So if it's anything like the Tetris video, it'll get negative views. But who cares? I love this game. This is like this is up there with Spyro in terms of like childhood classics that I'm always happy to showcase on the channel. Ooh, boss, kind of. Well, remember that eagle character. He'll be important later. If he seems regal, because that's because he is. That'll make sense to anyone who's played this. I might not even need my magic. Yeah, I got him. Oh, and there's branching paths as well. I almost always go this way. I'm sure there is like an optimal path through the game. I don't know what it is. Get back here, you magic stealing little fella. Oh, and I used to always try to like, wait, ah. Oh, I always tried to get a really cool freeze frame when the screen would fade out. But anyways, this is the map of the world, the east land, really creative uh, naming there. 
happened to give it a cool town, a cool like country name. And this is the Tender Hamlet. Always sounded like a real tasty snack to me, like going to Popeyes or something. It's like, what would you like? I'd like a Tender Hamlet, please. The side of uh, soft neighborhood. And, uh, juicy village. I don't know. I saw that one coming a mile away and still let myself get hit by it. Whee! <laughs> That's actually like a pain on the thumbs, especially playing with a like D-pad for maximum classic vibes. It appears I've saved my magic for too long. I should use it on something. Oh, let me go, let me go. Oh, let me go again, let me go again, damn it. guys are mean, but they can't block. That's the trouble. As this game goes on, you encounter more enemies that can block. And I can block too. Back and attack. Back attack. Oy. Oh, and if you... Ah. Uh, if I could... If I was good at the game, I could have shown you that... Oops. If you throw... <laughs> Apparently I'm not good. If you can throw enemies, you can throw them into other enemies, like so. Oh no. Ah, I'm about to die. I'm about to die, magic. This is probably a waste, but tsunami slash typhoon for a hurricane or a cyclone. Really depends on where you are. So I guess if this is the East Lands, then this is a Typhoon. Yeah. Take those. Oh, ha, ha, nice try. You can hop on those too, but they're really not worth it. Like, you can't block or you can't maneuver as well. They're really, you're vulnerable to getting hit while you're on them. Whee. Get bumped. I don't really understand why the blue guy... Oh, which way do I normally go? I don't normally go down. Like, this guy's all blue. There's a red lady. You think she'd have the fire powers, but no, she does like a... She throws her sword. There's a big, burly, muscular man. Who has wind powers, because... Sure. And then there's a cat man who I think does like a helicopter thing. I'm not sure. Not a helicopter thing. It's a, he charges forward and it makes a helicopter sound. Get back here. Anyways, point is they could have given this guy a water based attack and given the red girl the fire attack and it would have made more sense. That's the point. But instead, water or fire or red girl just throws her sword, boomerang sword style. Those get oh, oh yes, that's the thing. You fight corrupted versions of the other playable characters, and they're really tough. I'm already getting my ass kicked. Ah, oh, look at him! Look at that punch. He was coming into. That was a haymaker, a left hook, square across the cheeks. Of my face for clarification. There we go. Come on. Get some good hits in. Ooh, he tripped me. Cheap. Ooh. Come on. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that got. Oh, no, that didn't get him. Charge in. Feel it. Nope, he's gonna. Oh, come on. Oh, cheap. Yeah, 
there we go. We got him. Big, giant, muscular man in shackles. No match for guy with sword. I'm so ashamed that I fell under their curse. I must beg your pardon. He was very eloquent for a... a what appears to be a caveman with a loincloth. Not to say loincloths aren't eloquent, but I mean... If you were to make a, a, a scale of eloquent undergarments, loincloths would not be near the top. My personal... Oh, I didn't get the magic. Personal opinion. Like, a little further down. What would be at the top? Long johns? Boxers? No, not boxers. Boxer briefs? Like those tight sport boxers? Let's make an, an undergarment eloquence uh, tier list. Thong up there? I feel like I should be up there. Charging is really weird in this because it's not just double tap. It's tap once, tap a second time, and then hold that second tap. Ow, 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 ow. I hate these guys. They're not that tough, but like if you get caught in one of their really slow arcing combos, it's just embarrassing. Like it's feel shame for it. Get in the get in the Oh. Oof. These guys are always a pain too. Cuz they're jump and their shield that they don't use all- Oh, get in the drink. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was about to be stopped by the screen there. Yeah, hearts are incredible because they not only restore your health to full. It's jumping in this game is scary, but they also increase your total max health by a tiny bit. Can't be spinning your sword, man. You're gonna get caught hot dogging. Like Patrick Waugh. Very timely hockey reference for anyone aware. For anyone who also isn't aware, it's currently the year 1996. Seven. I don't know when that play happened. Rescue five dudes, get an extra life. You know what? I'm actually going to use... Oh, no, I'm not. Never mind. I think these have... These have bad people in them? Yeah, they do. Okay, now I'm going to use my magic. This might be a waste, but I don't know. If you hold on to your magic for too long, you just end up wasting it anyway by not being able to pick up more magic. Yeah, I took care of everyone. Ooh. That food is not that useful. Come over this way. Come over here. Come over here. Close enough. Can I keep that apple on screen? Oh, no, I cannot. Ah. The jump is such a, like... As soon as they jump while you're trying to hit them, it's so obvious that you're about to get hit, yet it takes forever for them to come back down and embarrass you for trying to... trying to pull off a sweet combo on them. All these skeletons are darker, that's how you know it's they mean business. They're metallic skeletons. Which means they know how to use their shields more. Ooh. 
Vem. Oh, get fired. Oh, and I got whacked for my troubles. Get closer. Wah. Got both of them? Yeah, it is. Didn't even need to dispatch my secret fire sword technique. You're done. What? You would not have had time to expect the fire sword. Also, your shield does not go down to your feet. You can't protect yourself from burning your footsies. Oh, these guys. These guys being business. Yeah, I'm just no messing around. Should have saved my magic. We're doing a lot of this. These guys suck. Like, like the unbeatable range. They have this stupid spin move that you might see in a moment. Oh, he was about to charge me. Made the right move there. actually going uncharacteristically well. These guys usually are way more difficult. How did that miss? Wow. Okay. I still am on my technically first life because I got the the one up from the prisoners. For the record, like full honesty, I gave myself one practice run of this yesterday because I was like, oh, I could play Golden Axe for the channel. Let's just remind myself that I know what I'm doing. And that that playthrough died like towards the end. Oh, whoops, I skipped the name of it. It's Bloody Street. See, look how red the street is with blood. It's not actually red. Oh yeah, this is one of those games that like once you run out of lives and credits, it's not unreasonable. Straight back to the start, no mercy. Oof. So I think on normal mode, which is what we're playing on, you get two, er, Technically three lives, two, one, and zero. And like four credits. So do the math there, was that 12 lives? The whole game, exhaust them all and you're done, which is actually kind of fair now that I think about it. Not like ghouls and ghosts or goblins or whatever it was called. Where you have your armor and your underwear. Shenanigans. See you later. This is actually a decently fair challenge. Maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much as a kid, is it was hard, but I could do it. Whereas other games were like, just no, just no. I liked Punch Out as a kid, but I could never beat Mike Tyson. In fact, to this day, I still have not beat Mike Tyson. I haven't tried in a solid few years, but still. Ooh, get off me. Aw, oh, that my overhead swipe was just about to happen. Okay, I need to be careful here. And I still haven't shown off the fact that if you throw an enemy backwards, they can hit another enemy. Oof. Oof. I always like to get two swipes and then a throw. It's like the maximum amount of... I don't even know if it's the max damage you can do. I just like to think it is. Now I'm just gonna cheese this guy from afar. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, see you later. 
I love the throws. They're like so satisfying to pull off, especially the big two-handed over the head throw. Give me your meat. Yes. I'm still on that technically first life. Oh, I can't even use that. She's red. That's how you know she's bad. Or more difficult anyway. Ow. 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 Road shows violence today. Which is fair. He appears to be a guard of some sort as I'm ravaging this land. Am I the villain? I feel like you could ask that about all these early, early video games or early beat-em-ups where you just go around town beating the crap out of everybody. Ouch. It's like I'm invading this place and doing a little bad stuff and okay. I'm sure there's some story in the manual about an evil empire and oppression and all that. Yeah. For you, sir. Just make sure I don't accidentally chop your head right off. Sweet. I'm still on this life. This is incredible. I thought the, like, YouTube curse was that you always did way worse and got really bad luck when on camera. Oh, he didn't get a chance to wave in his buddies yet. Nope, there they are. Come on. See you later. See you later. Oh, here comes trouble. Or is it... Trouble? Nope, not yet. Way! <laughs> I got the knight too, nice. Can't use any magic on this because there's trouble coming up. Oh, let me free, let me free, let me free. Oh, they let me free. Every once in a while. Oh, wait. I, I hit someone with someone else. I did it, finally. Every once in a while, the computer will have mercy on you and decide to let you out of their combo. Ah, here we go. Much more cool entrance from her than uh, Gorilla Man. Oh, come on. Well, yeah, she did jump over it. I just singed her, uh, bikini bottom. It's really not a fighting outfit, but at least it's fair. Everybody in this game is scantily clad. Like, I'm wearing basically the same thing. Arguably less, because I don't have a bikini top. I've got a shark necklace. Okay, magic time. Well, since we're in basically swimming clothes, let's have a pool party. I'll bring the water, you bring the pool. <gasps> whoop, 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 whoop. Sound effects are awesome. And all right, pool party over. We're now sufficiently wet. Take that out of context. Ooh. Oh, wow. All right. Usually they're a lot more difficult. What does she have to say? Thank you. Be careful. The enemies around here are very powerful. Alright. I played this game a lot as a kid, just for the record. The video is not out of sync. Oh, give me your apple. It wasn't an apple. Yeah, this will definitely be a nice little part one, part two. I think. Depends. Depends how fast I fly through this as we approach the originally named Death Mountain. Wait, Mountain. There it is. The sounds are just so nostalgic for me. I hope the like 27 of you watching share nostalgia for this game. Ooh. Ooh, got double teamed there and embarrassed, really. Yeah. Got them both, okay. Oh, I've fallen in this chasm before and it's embarrassing. 
I love platformers. I hate when games that aren't platformers add in like jumps and platforming bits. Like know your place. Not to say that games can't have variety, but like, come on. I'm not used to jumping over stuff. I'm used to a very clunky jump used to jump attack people. Yeah, get in the pit. Ooh. Get in the pit. Oh, I saw that one coming. <laughs> Figured I'd get on one of these at least once. Are you kidding me? Telling me little uh, little man there could out body bump me on a snail creature. Disagree. I hate these skeletons. Oh, beat me to the punch there, or to the charge attack, I guess. Oh, these guys mean business too. Oh! <laughs> Ran right into that one. Pitched him a meatball, basically. Oh, wait. If I can... That, even though it's off screen, that pit is still there. And I think I did it. You can knock him into the pit. But it's difficult because it's off screen. Okay, this is kind of cheesy, but when I was a kid, I could never do this move. For whatever reason, the full circle forward always threw me off. So, I'm going to use it as much as I can. Get the pit. The pit. Oh, he's stuck on the geometry. I think that's him done. Nope. Magic. He was about to end me, I could tell. Those hammers hurt. Oh, I jumped a little early. Ouch. <laughs> oh, you're getting thrown though. Oh. And in the pit you go. Triple pit. It's like a... Oh, sorry for that plosive. It's like a custom game of Kid Icarus. Or a really, really deformed plum. It's a waste when I use that heart because I need the extra max damage or max health rather. And I'm back to my original two lives. This is insanity. Uh oh. Alright. Thank goodness I'm a 2D sprite. Ooh, careful now. Careful now. Okay. That's the worst riding beast of them all. It's a dragon. It picks you up and throws you. It only works at incredibly close range. And it just sucks in general. And it also sucks because it looks exactly... Oh, I didn't want to get on it. It looks exact... Not exactly, but a lot like one that breathes fire. And the fire breathing one is awesome. And that one sucks, is the point. Need I go on? Oh. Although riding things were a staple of the Golden Axe trilogy? I don't know. I barely know the first or second games all that well. Ow. Although I do know that there was a cancelled like HD Golden Axe reboot and then the Sega released it to Steam without the permission of the guy who basically poured his life into it. And didn't even really acknowledge him. That was cool. Cool to play though. Makes me really want... Have beat-em-ups fallen out of style? 
like platformers were a big thing and then they fell out of style but then they've made a bit of a comeback lately and I mean Nintendo is always doing platformers but like besides the occasional like pixel arty or nice hand drawn I don't know like what would even a big budget triple-a beat-em-up be something God of War like and then at that point it, eh, I don't know point is I want something exactly the same as it was in my childhood but better in a bunch of immeasurable ways is that so much to ask also yeah Birdman's back and I'm fighting him now and he kind of sucks to fight okay magic time because he loves hiding behind his wing and blocking. And look at him, he's just smug. He's got those weird, muscular, a little bit too attractive legs. I don't like it. I don't like his legs. Why can't I have his legs? And he also does a ton of damage. Boy. Fight me, you coward. Oh, magic time. <laughs> yeah. You look exactly like, wow, every other character when they get fired upon. That can also happen with like this guy and this guy only. You attack at the same time and you both do damage. It's annoying. Not to mention this little side kick move. Oh, I hate this guy. Even his sound effects are annoying. Basically, he can also do cheese tactics like how I do cheese tactics, and I don't like that. Oh, come on. Let me get to the... Dang it. I have full health now, and I'm gonna beat him, and there's gonna be health available that I can't use, I think. Yup. Guard. Damn. Nice job, however, won't be so easy next time. Yeah, he's fine. He just leaves like the smug prick that he is. Look at him flying away. And part of me wants to just make this one long recording that I split up later. But I could also sign off here and make it really cool. Because this... Uh, I'm not sure. Ride the whirlwind. Yeah, no, I'm not beating this in the next 15 minutes. Yeah, you know what? Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, do all the things, and stay tuned for tomorrow when we finish off our Golden Axe 3 adventure. And yeah, have a good one.